Breaking news. The Nigerian police forces investigation showed the international drug cartel linked to suspended the CP, that is the, the Deputy Commissioner of Police, Abakiari, have strong ties with some officers of the National Drugs Law Enforcement Agency who are allegedly on their payroll. The Deputy Force Public Relations Officer, Olumiwa Adejobi, who confirmed the arrest of Kiari and four policemen in a statement in Abuja revealed that they had been handed over to authorities of the NDLEA. Adejobi said interim investigations report revealed that two international drug courtiers identified as Chibuna Patrick, Umebe, and Emeka Alfonsos were arrested at Nkano Ibiam International Airport, Enugu, on the 19th of January 2022 upon their arrival from Addis Ababa aboard an Ethiopia airline flight ET-917. He added that the international narcotic cartel involved had strong ties with some officers of the NDLEA at the airport who are allegedly on their payroll. The statement reads, The Nigerian police force has arrested DCP by Kerry and four other police officers for their involvement in an alleged case of criminal conspiracy, discreditable, unethical and unprofessional conduct, official corruption and tampering with exhibits in a case of illicit drug trafficking involving a perpetual transnational drug cartel. The arrest of the officer was sequel to pieces of information received from the leadership of the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency NDLEA on the 10th of February 2022 in line with standard administrative procedure of the force. The Inspector General of Police ordered a high-level, discreet and in-house investigation into the allegations. The interim investigation report revealed that two international drug courtiers identified as Chibuna Patrick Umebe and Emeka Afonsos, both males, are arrested at Nkano Ibiam International Airport, Enugu, on the 19th of January 2022 upon their arrival from Addis Ababa Airport, you know, abroad, you know, aboard an Ethiopia airline, pardon, airline flight. ET-917. The arrest led to the recovery of substantial quantity of powdery substance suspected to be cocaine from the two narcotic courtiers. The operation, which was intelligence-driven, was undertaken by a unit of the Police Intelligence Response Team, IRT, although the case of the two suspects was subsequently transferred to the NDLEA on the 25th January 2022, and findings of the in-house investigation ordered by the Inspector General of Police establish reasonable grounds for strong suspicion that the IRT officers involved in the operation could have been involved in some underhand and unprofessional dealings as well as official corruption which compromised ethical standards in their dealings with the suspects and exhibits recovered. Beyond this, the police investigation also established that the international narcotic cartel involved in this case have strong ties with some officers of the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency and DLAA at the Nkano Ibiam International Airport, Enugu, who are on their payroll. The two arrested drug courtiers confirmed that the modus is for the transnational drug barons to conspire with the NDLEA officers on duty and send them their pre-boarding photographs for identification, seamless clearance and unhindered passage out of the airport with the narcotic being trafficked. The two arrested 
drug courtiers also confirmed that they have been enjoying this relationship with the NDLA officers at the Akano Ibiam International Airport since 2021 and had in this instance case of 19th January 2022 been identified and cleared by the NDLA officers as customary, having received their pre-departure photographs and other details prior to their arrival in Enugu and were on their way out with the narcotics when they were apprehended by the police. The police investigations report also indicated DCP Abakari, who had been on suspension for his alleged involvement in a different fraud case, being investigated by the Federal Bureau of Investigation FBI for complicity in the allegation of official corruption, tampering with narcotic exhibits and sundry unprofessional conduct that negate the standards, administrative and investigative protocols of the force as well as extant criminal laws. It is to be emphasized that DCP Abaikari's involvement in this allegation occurred while his suspension from service was subsisting on the strength of the findings of the in-house police investigation panel. The Inspector General of Police has ordered the immediate arrest and transfer of all the indicted police officers to the NDLEE authorities for conclusive investigation, while appropriate disciplinary actions are also being initiated against them by the force leadership. The concerned officers include DCP Abaikari, ACP Sunday Ubua, ASP Bauer James. ASP John Umoru at large, Inspector Simon Agriba and John Nuhu. They have been accordingly added over today, February 2022, to the NDLA authorities. In so doing, the Inspector General of Police has also formally requested that the Chairman and Chief Executive Officer of the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency should ensure the identification, arrested, you know, identification, arrest and investigate of the agency's officers who have also been found to be colliding with the international drug cartel involved in this case towards advancing the anti-narcotic agenda of the federal government. What is your thoughts to this? The Inspector General of Police assures the public of its administration's commitment to upholding the tenets and values of policing in line with the agenda of ethical regeneration, restoration of professional standards, enchantment of the anti-corruption drive, respect for the rule of law and interagency collaboration in the drive to stabilize the internal security order of the country. What is your own point of view to this? We would like you to let us know your thoughts to this. As you can see, so many things are really happening. Now it is about the Nigerian police probe. We have to view how the, the CPI by carry is being linked to drugs cartel colliding with the NDLEE officers, putting them on payroll. Can you just imagine the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency colliding with drug cartels, you know, just because of money? And these people are people we rely on to apprehend people who are drug dealers of course now they are still the same people colliding with them you know to smuggle cocaine and every other hard drugs well we would like you to let us know your own point of view to this we'd like to share your own reaction with us via the comment section on this what do you think can be done in this kind of situation don't forget that they have been arrested investigation is on and of course justice will take its place we would like you to let us know your own point of view to this thank you guys for listening Subscribe to this channel if you have not, and I will see you on other news. Bye for now.